Oktoberfest is originally a huge 16-day festival celebrating beer held annually in Munich, Bavaria, Germany. However, here in the Cedar Valley, it is a two-day event celebrating the German culture, community, kids, local artists, and yes, some beer. You know, there's lots of events that are dances and have bands and have music and have food, but we wanted to do something a little unique, and Oktoberfest celebrations happen really all over the world, but never in the Cedar Valley, never in Northeast Iowa. So when we started this three years ago, we thought it was something that really might be welcome. This year, the festival was moved up a few weeks after a very cold October last year. The first Cedar Valley Oktoberfest had a turnout of 7,500. Last year was lower due to the weather, but this year brought out way more than expected. Last weekend, around 15,000 people took part in the third annual Cedar Valley Oktoberfest. So what did all these people do? The committee behind the event held various German activities that people of all ages competed in. One popular event was a Hammerschlagen. Well, uh, you get eight people around the stump and you hammer in a nail, but you only get one turn at at a time and pass the hammer down. Well, I actually didn't do any preparation for this one, but uh, I have hammered some nails in my time. <laughs> Other German games included the keg toss that had our local participants toss a keg and whoever threw it the farthest won. Stein Hoist tested a contestant's arm, shoulder strength, and endurance as they held out mugs of water straight in front of them for as long as possible. For those in the mood for music, free polka dance lessons were offered by the University of Northern Iowa's International Dance Theater. Keeping with the German theme was the foods and drinks. Beer from all over was served in the beer garden tent. Food vendors sold a variety of kinds of foods, but some offered authentic German foods such as brats, sauerkraut, and more. Local artists were also out and about selling their works at the craft market. A bags tournament took up much of the weekend with the winners receiving cash prizes. One of the highlights of the Oktoberfest was the Family Fun Zone, which gave kids of all ages a variety of fun games to play. Bouncy houses, face painting, and laser tag were a few of the activities offered. One new kid activity was slake lining, where kids basically tried their hand at tightrope walking. Though Oktoberfest was primarily free to those who wanted to come, there were some fees in the Family Fun Zone. However, the money raised there went to an excellent cause called Magical Mix Kids. We are a charity located in Cedar Falls that takes chronic and terminally ill kids from the Cedar Valley to Disney World. So it's about a seven county area and we're taking 16 kids and their families coming up in October on a magical trip to Disney World. So whether people were there for the food and beer, the authentic German games, to dance the polka, or to help raise money for a kids charity, everyone who attended had a great time. Reporting for Cedar Falls City News, I'm Shelby Gappa.